Ciao. <laughs> Okay. Hello! Hi everyone! Welcome We're... back to my channel. <laughs> We're in our bedroom! Yay! So, we are finally here with our bedroom makeover. <laughs> and it's been a long ride. When did we start doing this? Last uh, year? Yeah, it's 1st of April. So 1st of April? Today. Oh, I thought you meant we started no, no. exactly a year today. I can't remember. I feel it's basically about basically a year. Basically a year ago. Yeah. And you, if you've been watching the Renault vlogs, you've seen the progress with this room, but it kind of halted as soon as we finished the last video on this room, which was painting the walls. And then we have the kind of decorating side of things. Mm. And that just basically didn't happen for a while. So that's why it's taken so long. Yeah. But I want to go back to the beginning and just kind of do a little recap for those of you who maybe have forgotten or it's been so long or you've not seen all of this or you're new to my channel. Hello, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> um, but let's go back to what it was like when we first moved in. So when we first moved in, it was carpeted floors, unpainted skirting boards. Yeah, they had horrible blinds up. Horrible um, blinds. Dusty, dirty. Oh, just everything. There was a, the first night we slept, wasn't there a hole yeah. in the wall? There was no skirting board? Well, there was, yeah. there, there was a hole, it was basically just bare wall on the floor. And there was a big spider in there. There was. So you got scared. I, I had to sleep in the other room because I couldn't. Yeah. Well, I think you joined me in the other room because I was like, I can't yeah. sleep in here. So it was just a wreck. There was magnolia walls, all loads of dirt and stuff, and it just was not nice. And then we had an ensuite bathroom, which is really, really small, not convenient. When you sat on the loo, the door touched, touched your knees. Just everything horrible about a bathroom. The sink was too small, the shower everything was too was small, bad. the floor was horrible. Lino. Lino. The toilet was sunny flow, so it made a horrible noise. Oh yeah, flushed. I forgot about the sunny flow toilet. Um, so we knew we had to get rid of that. And you've seen the bathroom makeover. And if you haven't, I'll link it up here and in the description. And we made the decision to get rid of the ensuite so we could have a proper family bathroom upstairs. Yep. Best decision ever. Yep. I know there's lots of discussion um, in that video about whether we should have got rid of one of the bedrooms. We made a very um, smart executive decision to do that. Uh, we spoke with one of our best friends who is an estate agent and an evaluator and he said it's not going to make much of a difference to the value of your property because of the size of your property. Mm. Yes, it's a four bed but it's a small cottage so you know yeah. a lot of people will value a family sized bathroom upstairs more than they will a tiny little box room. Yeah, I know I do. And I do as well. The, all the rooms are the same size now. This is a proper proper master. master proper yeah. bathroom, much more convenient for our lifestyles. And I'm sure one day when we do sell it, it'll be much more convenient for another family's lifestyle as well. Yeah. Um, so once we did that, it had to be all plastered and sorted out. We painted the whole room in, yeah. what was the color again? White mist By... from Dulux. Yeah, we painted all of that, which took ages because uh, yeah. it's quite a big room now. And there was like one of the walls was just plaster. Yeah. Um, oh, I forgot. We also um, we did ripped the up the first. carpets. Yeah. We did the floors first. Go watch the video about our floorboards because yeah. that was quite the journey. Um, but it's so worth it. It took a long time. There was lots of mishaps and problems and, you know, but it looks so good and I absolutely love the floors. Yep. Do you yep. love them? Yep, I love them. He would have had carpet, I think, but they turn out so good. Probably. They turn out so good and um, uh, they're a lovely warm colour. So it just, I, I find it quite cosy. I know lots of people don't think floorboards are cosy, but I personally just love them. I didn't until we got them. Yeah. And I think I, I definitely prefer it to a carpet because yeah. we have got a rug as well. We've got a big rug. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, then we painted and then a long period of time passed where we just had our bedroom just how, like, I don't know, it was very just 
we put the furniture in and just left it. Yeah. Didn't do anything. Didn't change the, we just, yeah, we didn't change the way it was like. No, the layout wasn't right. Layout, that's what I was gonna say, formatted, but that's not. You also put up a lamp that we ended up hating. Uh -huh. It was an Ikea lamp, don't buy it. Massive nightmare to put up. And then we got blinds fitted. No, we didn't. Huh? No, we didn't. Shutters. Yep. Um, because we got our lovely windows put in when we first moved in yeah. um, for the whole house. And we went back and forth about getting curtains or shutters or blinds or whatever. Yeah. Roundabout way, they all cost the same. They're all expensive. And we've got like mm. bay windows. So the blinds work perfectly. Sorry, the shutters, shutters work perfectly. Yeah. They were expensive, but totally worth it. Like I adore them. Maybe not the best investment, but I love it, so who cares? It's one of those things that's just like, you've just got to do your house how you like it. Yeah. And curtains would have come into the room, the rails would have been very difficult to do. Yeah. Um, and blinds were basically the same price, which I was really shocked by. Well, if you wanted to get them fitted by someone. Yeah. Because this is such a wonky, I'm looking at the window now, such a wonky, funny shape. I it would have been a real nightmare for us yeah. to fit those ourselves. And then, when they were done, we also changed our light to like an industrial light that's smaller, because I said the other one just wasn't working, it was too big, didn't mm -hmm. suit the vibe. And then we also finally did the, well you did, the, the shelves. open wardrobe. The open wardrobe. Yeah. We were going to get a fitted wardrobe built in. We thought it was just too much money. Let's try uh, open wardrobe, because I actually really like the look of them. I was looking on Pinterest and I just thought, this is kind of cool, let's give it a go. We actually yeah. don't have man that many clothes and it will look really cool. Yes. So Alex got Thank to goodness. working on that. You go on Pinterest. It was one of those things we were putting off because, I don't know, we just hadn't had that idea. We thought, no. well, we're going to get this, you know, fitted. I'm looking at the wardrobe, which is why I'm staying. The fitted wardrobe, it would cost loads of money. We'd have to get someone to do it. And we, I kept putting it off because I didn't want to well, pay we that We were money. waiting for the builder oh, to yeah. get back to us. Oh, we kept them delaying yeah, and delaying. And then also, I didn't chase him up because I didn't really want to pay the money for No, <laughs> but he kept on delaying and then I started thinking in the delay period and I was like, well, let's try this. Yeah. I did my back in, so Alex did it all. So we'll show you how we did that now. Good afternoon. We're about to undertake, well, Alex is about to undertake some DIY. I have done my back in. Um, I pulled my back muscles at the gym on my lower right hand side. I think it's because I did a really intense ab workout um, yesterday and then I deadlifted today really heavy and it just wasn't having it because my ab muscles are not very strong. How convenient. Look at this boy. Can you see him? <laughs> I think. Did we film a clip of us chatting about the wardrobe? Who knows? I think we did. Do you remember doing that? We told you about how we're going to do an open wardrobe. The shelves, we picked them up. I'll leave a link to the guy who makes them if you do live in Cornwall, like West Cornwall. And Alex is now going to attempt to put them up. We did receive a pole as well for the clothes to hang on from Etsy and it's too big. So we're going to attempt to cut it down. It might be difficult to do so, but um, it's like custom made. So to a specific length. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. Here it is. Yeah. And it's just like, it's very slightly too big, right? Yeah. Like a centimeter. So annoying. But, um, I think first of all, Alex is gonna try the shelves and measure them out and I would help obviously, but I can't. I'm bed bound. Mm. Maybe I'll be bed bound next week. I would actually really like to help because it will make things quicker, obviously if there's two of us, but I'll just film for you instead. So off we go. So this is where it's going to happen. Shelf, shelf, rail. Fingers crossed we'll manage to achieve it before nightfall. Show them the shelves. Alex isn't happy with them. Mm. Most of them are fine. He's annoyed that they're black, but they're reclaimed wood. Moan, moan, moan. Bit of a tight corner, eh? Yeah. I've said before that there needs to be a drill. Or I need to invent a drill that when you're looking at it like this, it has a bubble spirit level. Because I've done it before. Gone Dragon's Den with it. <laughs> yeah. You could probably just sometimes you drill down by mistake. <laughs> Hello, it's the next day and we're having a bit of a rethink because we're not happy with, well, I'm not happy. Alex thinks it's fine. I'm not happy with the way these brackets look. So we changed our mind, we're not going out. We realized we do have four brackets 
for, uh, for the shelves in the office because we also ordered some shelves for the office. So we're going to use these, order some more and put those shelves up later because that's not as urgent. Yeah. So we can actually get this done because these look lovely. So these look deliberate, you know. So, so. I could just use the silver screws. The steel screws. Yeah. 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 Okay, don't need black ones. Alright, so we'll update you when we're on our way. Shelf number one. Looking good. See how much better that looks. Did you did you see the one before? This is it before. Look at that compared to that. Oh, they look the same. They don't. That looks cool and deliberate. Let's just put it on the screen. <laughs> Everybody. This versus this like look how much better it looks it just looks right now and just like that we're done yeah that was easy 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 no bother <laughs> it's a lot later but we finally finished absolutely stink <laughs> we've just got to sand oh no what? this is all coming out oh you've done it too tight you need to loosen it <gasps> so that's not ideal, not sure how we'll solve that, but um, we need to sand all the filling we've done from the brackets before, but look, it feels like a shop. We have a little shop rail. It's so cool. Hey, you're in the way, you can't see. Hey, I can fix that. Okay, I, I well, people want to see it, the shelves. Look at it, and then we've got one at the bottom, and then we can put like clothes on there maybe, or shoes down here, and it's just gonna look so good. I'm gonna get, I think, potentially, wooden hangers i'm going to swap with my mum i'm going to see how i go because it might be the case that wooden hangers will take up too much space because these like take up no space which is great but i do prefer the look of wooden hangers so we'll see i'll show you once i've dressed it all um and it's all finished because i'm gonna put like baskets and shoes and everything and you know make it look really pretty i'm really glad we went with an open wardrobe i think it's gonna look so cool goodbye and good riddance to that lamp on the floor where is it also look our wardrobe is done i'll show you the full reveal when we do the makeover but look bye bye and now we're gonna hang up this other lamp um it's got a really long lead so we might actually hang up over there because there's no plugs over there it might be nice to have a lamp over there because we've got this here rather than over the bed because then all the light will be on this side of the room but we're going to see what that'll look like show them the lamp we've bought we got it on Cox and Cox and it's a lot smaller so it's not going to be so in your face and yeah take over the room but we just need to decide how long it needs to be etc etc. <laughs> And then um, once that was done, it was about rearranging the room, getting it all to sort of how we like it. I still feel like there's going to be changes along the way, like there is with everything. We kind of want a picture above the bed, but I want to get actual paintings and art that I'm going to love for the rest of my life. So um, I would ideally would love a big painting above the bed, uh, a landscape painting by a Cornish artist, maybe a kind of seascape with very neutral, soft tones that sure feels that, relaxing. That'll be cheap. <laughs> But one day, we're not going to yeah. do it now. We don't actually have any pictures on the wall right now because no. I we, can, we, we have got a lot of pictures to put up. But I just find it didn't. really peaceful yeah, like, like this. Yeah. I don't love loads of pictures in my bedroom. I think one above the bed would probably be enough. Yeah, anywhere else, I don't think it would work. No. You have to have a nice one above the bed. Yeah. And that's about it. But that is where we are now. So let's show you a hey, proper... We did the skirting board as well. Oh, Alex has spent the last week or two doing the skirting boards. It was a week. It was a week. Yeah. He they did a really were a good job. They the were. walls are a funny shape. So yeah, there were like where the bathroom was taken out, there was yeah. no skirting. That's another reason why we didn't do this video because we just couldn't be bothered to do the skirting. Yeah. We were so going to get the builder to do it. Nearly and then, a year to put the skirting board in. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, there was also gaps in the skirting where there were for no reason at all. Yeah. Um, but we recycled the skirting board from the bathroom, from yeah. where the bedroom used well, to as be. As much as we could, because it wasn't quite long enough for some bits, but yeah. anyway. But all of it was reclaimed, yeah. reused. We didn't, we didn't want to buy any skirting, so it doesn't look perfect, but I feel like it just adds to the charm. Whoever did it originally didn't make it perfect, so no, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. But yeah, let's show you the actual bedroom and talk through like where we got stuff and all that. So I wasn't really sure what format to do this video, but I figured we'll just kind of hmm. show you the room. Um, which side of the room should we start with? We may as well start here. Okay, let's start here. So, um, Ikea Mirror got this ages ago. Yes. Was it 25 quid on eBay? Yes, I had to drive across 
county lines to Devon <laughs> to get this at about 8 p.m. But it's middle so of the night. cool. I love yeah. it. It's a massive mirror, so you can yes. see. It makes the room feel bigger. And then this, you may remember if you've been watching for a while, we bought this originally for the bathroom, um, yeah. and it was too big. We were going to use this as like the sink unit. Yeah, um, I remember now. Which, um, in hindsight, probably wasn't the best idea, but um, this now holds pajamas and tops and all of my makeup and stuff and all of our jewelry and sunglasses and it's a really good storage unit. And then I've just got like bits for like, you know, hair stuff, primer, hairbrush, lovely little mirror. I got this on, is this from Amazon? And it lights up. Possibly. Because at this end of the room, there are no plug sockets. Yeah. So that's why we put the light up here. Can you see it? Yes. Oh my God, the good wide angle lens. So the light yeah. was originally in the middle of the room and we've hung it in the middle of the room and then put it over here. And this is an outdoor light, I think. Is it from Cox it's, and Cox? Yeah, it said it was either, but yeah. it's like waterproof. And so. I love this kind of look. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, the whole industrial thing. I adore it. I think it's so much more fitting to this room and yeah. it just is really cute. I think one day I'll have to make that wire a bit Yeah, shorter. this one we, you had, we had to cut the wires and stuff and by the time we'd done it we were just like, ugh. But yeah. yeah, we probably would make that a bit shorter. And then we got the hook from a local shop called Unica Home. Oh yeah. Huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then this chair is a Facebook Marketplace find. This I think was a present from bloody years ago, maybe like five, ten years ago. I've had this cushion forever. Um, and then this, everyone always asks about this laundry basket. I got this from HomeSense mm. years ago. We've got another basket under there for more storage. And then this is our beautiful, beautiful open wardrobe that Alex worked very hard on. Like I said, we got these, did I say? We got these from Facebook Marketplace again. It's a local guy who makes shelves from Reclaimed Wood with lovely uh, brackets. We have exactly the same shelf in the bathroom. And then this rail is from Etsy. Again, we have this in the bathroom as a towel rail and we've also got like a toilet roll holder. So I wanted it to match. I love that whole cottagey but industrial style. I feel like it works well as well if you're living with a partner who is a man, then it doesn't feel so girly. I didn't want this room to be really, really girly. Our spare bedroom is quite girly because I got to make it really vintagey and cute. But I thought for our bedroom, let's try and make it neutral. Maybe if I lived on my own, I would do things a bit differently, but I was keeping you in mind. Do you appreciate that? Yes, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, this is like all of Alex's shirts and jackets and then all of my like hanging stuff. Lots of people did message when I showed a photo of this on my Instagram saying, is that all your clothes? No, we have underbed storage with like um, all of my jumpers. I have a chest of drawers with like workout clothes and underwear and next door. We have a wardrobe which has got all of our like smart clothes. Yeah. Well, it's mainly your stuff. Or it's like suits. And it's all of Alex's suits. Smart shoes. Yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, this is the majority of it. But I, I love this. And then we've got jeans and shoes down there. Um, and again, like lots of our shoes are downstairs because we use those shoes to walk Roxy and stuff. Yes. Oh my God, I'm out of breath. So Alex is going to talk through this side of the room. I thought it'd be funny. What do you want to know? So just do what I just did. Tell everyone where everything's from. This is from a shop that sells lamps. <laughs> Uh, actually, that was Cox and Cox. Cox so and Cox. One. I love this lamp. It's so big. And it's what inspired us to move this chest of drawers here, right? Yes. Because it was originally over here, and the mirror was here, yeah. and this was there. Yeah. And this whole layout's so much better. It is, because this was like a dead space. Yeah. Um, and now it felt really horrible over there. Like, what's the word? Just empty. Oh no, like, the room didn't feel right. Small. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we had like um, really small bedside tables. So someone recommended yeah, that we put yeah. this here on Instagram. Yes. And it balances out because it's the same height as the bed. Some of the best layout um, ideas from people on Instagram, they did oh, the same with our living room. Same with well. our living room, yeah. but you guys are absolute geniuses. Um, I don't know where you got them. Are they on the um, shop, local shop? That was a local garden centre. That's the place. Oh yeah, what's the it called? Botanical Atelier. Atelier. This yes. lovely, lovely, um, she does these lovely um, illustrations. And these are some faux leaves. Yeah. This we've done that. That was from a man in Zena. Who Facebook was Marketplace. Yeah, Facebook Marketplace. He had a nice house. Yes. Uh, do, 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 bed from... The pride and Glory. The Chappie, what's his name? Rustic Kerno. Rustic Kerno made this bed. Yeah. I love it yeah. so much. It's a bit of a love hate. Some people message saying, I don't like your bed. Well, I love it. Good job it's not in your home. Yeah, okay, Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace, another local guy who makes benches yeah. and stuff. This uh, this was uh, 
she was second hand, wasn't she? <laughs> she was. Adopted. Yeah. These were... I ain't going to tell you where these are this from. Year. You had a feud. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not telling you where the sheets are from um, because they were not nice and I don't want to recommend from companies that aren't nice. So yeah. the reason that we got from this specific place was oh, because okay. we wanted... I wanted pillows that felt like down but weren't down, obviously, because I don't want to um, buy feathers. Um, so they did vegan down basically and I wanted the big pillows at the back like reading pillows and then uh normal pillows at the front so they're really fluffy and gorgeous and ah oh, and we got really expensive sheets but yeah the people who I just had a bit of a mare with them and um wouldn't purchase from them again so I'm hopeful that you can find someone else who has those sorts of things maybe if you google it Wahoo. he's so distracted right where's the mattress from because our mattress uh, is great Casper yeah Casper mattress. mattress. Yeah, nice. Duvet. 10 out of 10. Duvet, where's that from? I have no idea. Ikea. Ikea. I've had that, that's the feels like down one. Yeah, another sort of faux down. Yeah, that, uh, you convinced me to spend more money on it. Yeah, was so, so worth it. I was so angry because it was like 10 pounds more. And then bedside okay. table. Bedside table, I have the Facebook marketplace. Facebook marketplace. Yeah. This one we got, I only put this up yesterday. Yeah, it's a little alarm a, clock, like a sunrise alarm clock. Some, yeah, simulates a sunrise. Yeah, some dried flowers and... Yeah. And your quartz thing you got yeah. from somewhere. And then Roxy's yeah. bed. Mm -hmm. But that's it. Sorry, yeah. I totally took over your tour. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it. I think it's so nice. Um, underbed storage. Huh? Oh yes, we've got underbed storage. Show them that. This is where I keep all my jumpers. Yeah, this is actually my idea to put these in. We got these on Facebook Marketplace yeah. as well. They're great because they go... Whoop. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like sports equipment and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. This um rug is from Etsy as well. It's a linen yeah, it's rug. Nice. And we painted the door as well. Put some hooks up. The only thing we need to do yet is to paint this radiator or get a new one because it's just gross. But that's the job for another day. Well, we did buy radiators and then. Yes, we did. Had to sell them on because they were too much of a task. But I just love the feel of the room. It's just so relaxing yeah. especially since we did the new layout yes but to finally have done all the finishing touches we've been putting off for half a year at least like the skirting board the wardrobe that lamp that was almost hanging off the ceiling the previous yeah. because it was too heavy like it just feels really relaxing this is our little dressing area my dressing area really Alex doesn't ever get dressed over here and then this is our relaxation chill out zone which Roxy loves as well isolation station so I hope you enjoyed this video what are you doing? <laughs> trying to hug you. Oh, yeah. Stay tuned because every single Friday from now on we're going to be doing a tour. So a makeover video. Next week's going to be the living room makeover. And then we're going to oh, have... Oh, what an ordeal that was. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you wait and see for that one. Um, spare bedroom makeover, office makeover and yeah. hallway makeover. Yeah. Because all to come. The fun thing about filming this all in a jumble is that we forget some footage. And yeah. I just found a bunch so... That would be great. Unseen footage, even <laughs> if you've seen some bits before. So I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you for the next tour or my next video in general. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love you all. Everything's yeah. linked in the description, so don't ask me in the comments. <laughs>